The Dow plunged more than 1,100 points today, its largest one-day drop ever. The Nasdaq fell more than 400 points, and the S&P lost more than 100 points. We're on pace for the worst week since the 2008 recession. Our 10 News anchor Derek Stahl spoke with a local financial advisor about the impact, which is happening to a lot of people. Yeah, it sure is. What a difference a few days make. Last week, the S&P 500 was at an all-time high, but in just six days, it's dropped more than 10%. A 10% drop is called a correction, and this correction is the fastest in history. The closing bell on Wall Street marked the sixth straight day of losses, with markets clearly moving with headlines about the coronavirus. We've wiped out the entire, you know, 2020s gains in this week alone, and we're back to where we were, you know, probably in mid-2019, right around that level. Dennis Brewster of SafePoint Financial says concerns about the virus have hit travel and tech companies especially hard. Well, when you look at a company like Apple, um, they both sell into China and also they get parts into China. So their supply chain can get disrupted. So then they can't manufacture as much as they were hoping and their sales are down. So they, they can get it from both angles. But he says market corrections of 10% or more are not uncommon. There was one in 2018 and we've had market corrections linked to viruses before, including SARS and Zika. Those declines were about 13% which is about similar to what we've seen here, nobody would even remember them today. That's because the markets tend to bounce back. On average, the recovery takes about four months. You know, for the longer term investors, you don't want to be selling into a decline. That usually isn't a, you know, a productive long term strategy. Uh, you know, so for most people, let it run its course. And because what will have, we will come out the other side. This virus will be contained. So most people want to sit back, but Brewster does say that people who have retired or are planning to retire soon may need to make sure they're not overexposed in this market. The stock market drop today wiped out more than $1.5 trillion in value. So a lot of people affected by this. Mm -hmm. Big Let's impact. hope this is resolved soon. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Derek. Well, the World Health Organization